Jannati. Make their home, your household, like a Jannah. A place that your husband long to come back. Each time he go out from the house for work or anything, he always think of coming home because he find peace and tranquility at home. Sakina. It's very important for the woman to know what to do and how to respect and honor your husband. It's true what Allah said and also what the Prophet said, but symbolic, that's what the Prophet means. Now means that you should make sujud to your husband. No. Even among men, people who respect the Prophet, when the Prophet walk in, the Sahaba stand up, the Prophet said, sit. Prophet Muhammad, who have the right to be honored, but he do not want people to respect him to the extent that they may worship him one day. So Alhamdulillah, brother, you have yeah, remind us of something that is important. But you cannot just take that hadith and then apply it to the woman. You know the Prophet said, prostrate to me. You cannot do that because there are so many other hadiths yeah, show us that you should be fair to them. Prostrate here, that means they must respect and honor you for what you want them to do. Yeah. Now remember, sister, yeah? two men, one sister. Okay? Two from the man, one from the sister. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah. So, my I was to draw the attention of the shape, we now create a change of mindset for our sex because it has now become a disease and impression that also attacks the minds of men. Because that is the way. Oh, take us in the life. Of course, there are realities which has now made it necessary for us to really practice this institution. Uh, contain some of the evils that are now generated out of space. And this is all of the things that are created in the states, the virtues and so So now my first is how do we now try to create a change of mindsets for all sets is really very unfortunate. Thank you. Exactly. Do, do the sister follow about the question from the brother? Do you hear him clearly? Do you understand what he wants us to do today? Yes? Yes? No? Now the brother is asking us to try our best to change our mindset. Is that what you would say, brother? What is the mindset that we must change, sisters? What is the mindset? To accept what? Again, to accept what? Oh. Do you accept that, sister? Do you accept that, sister? Yes. Yes. How can you say it? no? 
First you say to accept polygamy and say no. You are contradicting yourself. No, we are believers. If Allah said is allowed, polygamy is allowed, how can you say no? You cannot say no, sisters. You don't have to fight for that. Why must you fight for that? Why must you make something halal, haram? You cannot do that. It's haram for you to do that. Can you change that mindset? That polygamy is allowed. Is polygamy allowed, sisters? Yes. I don't hear you. Polygamy allowed? Yes. Alhamdulillah. So their mind is changed now. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, the mindset is changed. Alhamdulillah. But brothers, brothers, please. Our mind also must be changed. Our mindset also is very corrupted. When you talk about the sunnah of the prophet, the man always highlight polygamy. Before you talk about this sunnah, you must make sure that you have fulfilled what is wajib. Sometimes the wajibat, you don't even do it. And you are talking about the sunnah is what? Sunnah in numbering. Not sunnah, not wajib to protect the right of the wife. Some, and you know, polygamy in the time of the Prophet is more on helping the orphans, the aitam, and married widows. But can you marry young girls? Of course, as long as it's a woman. Yeah. The only person you cannot marry is a gay. <laughs> yeah. But your intention is important. And when Allah one allowed the man to marry more than one sister, please, yeah. If the man married a person based on nafs, on desire, of course, it's not so good. But if they do it for the sake of Allah, for the deen, to protect the other sisters. The Prophet have said one of the signs of the doom days is that the population of the female will multiply to the extent one male got to protect 40 female not marrying 40 women no to show you the ratio will come that there are more women than men and now you can see what is happening to our to this country there are more women than men now now if Allah said one to one what is going to happen to the other sister don't you have any feeling toward the other sister oh this is mine this is mine and only mine nothing is ours all belong to Allah but the man must be also be very fair you got to be fair and ask yourself are you a responsible uh, husband do you marry for the right reason or you just marry for the sake of entertaining your desire yeah, you must be true because there's a lot of zulm going on and that is one of the reasons most of the women disagree now is because of the fault of the man the man has not been just not been fair physically mentally spiritually they are not balanced on that but inshallah the women have agreed to change their mindset. They just said, I didn't say it, they said just now. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Now they have accepted what Allah has ordained in the Quran. But now the man also, you must ask yourself, be just to yourself. And if you know that you cannot be just, Allah said, go back to. Go back to what? Go back to number one. You see how just and the Prophet, even after the wife Khatija passed away, we know the Prophet married more than one after Khatija passed away. But the Prophet will never allow any wife to talk bad or disrespect Khatija. You must know how to educate tarbiyah the other wife to honor and respect the elders if you fail to do that don't 